Have you ever wondered about the power of a group of like-minded individuals coming together for a common cause? Enter the world of political fundraising where unexpected alliances can lead to some fascinating results. Take for instance the White Dudes for Harris event that took place during the 2020 election cycle. As someone who's seen their fair share of political movements and strategies, I couldn't help but be intrigued by this unique group of white men rallying for then Vice President Kamala Harris. The event, which featured a diverse lineup of speakers, was created to encourage white men to listen and contribute to Harris's campaign. Ross Morales Riquetto, the founder, even sported a top knot, a popular fashion choice among late millennial white males. The goal? To show that the silent majority of white men aren't supporters of the MAGA movement. As the live broadcast unfolded, I found myself captivated by the infectious energy of Jeff Bridges, who humorously stated, I find myself laughing because I agreed to attend, not based on my race, but because I'm a fellow male. The conversation flowed between political figures and celebrities, with everyone from Maurice Mitchell to Pete Buttigieg sharing their thoughts on the importance of supporting Harris. The night was filled with an unusual conversation among a circle of liberal white men discussing their sense of self and their connections with women. Fatherhood was a common team with Josh Gad and Governor Tim Walz. Business professor Scott Galloway defined himself as a provider and protector, while Sean Astin expressed deep respect for women. But what about the results? The event managed to accumulate more than $3.9 million in contributions before concluding with 60,000 individual donations, a testament to the power of unity and the impact of an unusual alliance. White Dudes for Harris proved that sometimes stepping out of the norm can lead to extraordinary outcomes. And that said, thanks for watching. And until next time,